Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, Johnny. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thank you. Good it's night, been a nice Joe. day. <laughs> okay. Very good. Hi, Oscar. How are you? All right. Very good. Oscar is getting his earphones, his headphones. How was your day today, Johnny? How was class? Um, so so. Why so so? What happened? Because I dark classes. I gave, I taught. Gave. No, you just said I taught classes. El pasado. I taught. I taught, I taught uh -huh. so much classes. Ah, so many classes. Many. How many classes did you teach this morning? Oh, uh, five. Okay. Yeah. Five. Very tiring, um, Johnny. Yes. Yeah. All right. And all the classes are with little children, Johnny. Oh no. Okay. Eleventh uh, uh, grade. Oh, high school. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. And sometimes kindergarten and sometimes high school students. Yes. Oh my goodness, Johnny. All right. Very yes, interesting. I, I meet uh, every, everybody uh -huh. or everyone. <laughs> every, either one, everyone or everybody. Uh, ah. Everybody. Yes, I, I see, very good. And do you have many students in high school or not so many? How many students I, in high school do you have? Um, 42. 42 students? Yes. Oh my goodness, John. <laughs> okay, a lot of students. Yes. But everything is online right now? Yes. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult, huh? All right, very good. Thank you, Johnny, for that information. Very good. All right, let's see. What about, let me see. Uh, we have Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Carlos Eduardo, Juan Jose, Alejandro. Hi, Hi Jorge Argueta, Ana de la Trinidad. Very good. All right, how was your day, girls? Victoria, how was your day today? It was a good day or a busy day? Maybe Victoria's not. Oh. So, so, teacher. So, so, why, Victoria? What happened? I, what happened? Very busy um, today? Mm -hmm. uh, Cita Medica, como se dice? Oh, you had a doctor's appointment. Okay, but okay, all right, okay. Well, I hope you're feeling good, okay? Very good, okay, very nice. So, Carlos, your day, how was your day at Claro today? <laughs> uh, so, so, teacher, very... Busy? Uh, yes. Yeah. Was busy, it was a busy day? Uh, how do you say, mucho trabajo. A lot of work. Yes, bastante. Oh, yeah. All right, Carlos. And where, like, where is your office? Um, in the so, creo que sería sobre la 29 calle. Okay, so it's on 29th Avenue. On the 20, 29th Avenue. Okay. Eh, Barrio San Miguelito. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Is that an agency? Yes. No, it's, it's just offices. The, it's the office. All right, I see. All right, interesting. Very good. Mm, thank you, Carlos. All right, okay. Juan Jose, how was your day today, Juan Jose? I'm fine. Excellent. And your day was a good day? 
or a sauce saute? No, very, very good. Excellent. Nice. I'm happy. Very good. Okay. Great. Good for you. All right. Very nice. Then we have Alejandro. Hi, Alejandro. How are you tonight? Hi, Ale. Can you hear me, Alejandro? Hi. Fine teacher. Excellent. And your day? How was your day today? Mm. It was a good day? Sorry? Your day. How was your day? Sometimes stressful. Oh, I can imagine. I see, I see a lot of call. Oh, really? Yes, I am a system developer. Okay. Wow. <coughs> All right, Alejandro, very good. Okay, so very stressful sometimes, huh? All right, very nice, thank you. All right, guys, very good. So we're going to continue. Remember that we it is important to have your cameras on. So if you can, please turn it on because that's one of the requirements. Hi, Jorge, very good, now I see you, thank you. All right, uh, I'll take attendance in like about five minutes. So we have more people coming in. Hi, Oscar. All right, very nice. Oscar Edilson, very nice. Hi, teacher. Hi, how was your day today? Thank you. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, it was a good day? Yeah. Right. Excellent, I'm happy to hear that. Very nice, guys. All right, so we're going to continue here. Remember yesterday, guys, we were talking about the pronunciation of the simple of simple past okay regular verbs let's see uh yesterday we reviewed three pronunciations we reviewed the id pronunciation the t pronunciation and d pronunciation all right yes you guys remember a ver um hmm, hmm. oscar edilson when I want to pronounce yes. or when I need to pronounce with id, what are the consonants that I need to remember? Uh, and Oscar no va a ver su cuaderno, uh, Oscar. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, kidding. No, I don't remember. I remember. That's okay. That's uh, okay. A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? Okay. Si sin ver el cuaderno, don't cheat, all right? Who remembers? When we want to pronounce id, what are the two consonants? There are only two consonants that we need to remember. What are they? Anybody remembers what are the two consonants? Only T or D? T and D, very good, Johnny. Yes, all right. T and D, very good. All right. What about um? What about the pronunciation? T? All right. What what are the what are some consonants? All right. A ver, uh, the pronunciation with T sound. What are the consonants that we need to um, remember? I remember for work. Uh -huh. uh, the K. Uh -huh. The K, K is one. Very good. Uh -huh. Another one. In watch. Uh -huh. C H. Yes. Yes. Any other? Uh, they, Any other? Excuse me, Julio? They, 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 they did. They did. Ajá, pero ese es con id, ¿verdad? Very good. Date, dated. Very good. Pero ¿cuál es con, cua, um, ¿cuáles son las terminaciones que tenemos que recordar para que suene t? Uh -huh. ¿Quién se acuerda? Ya Johnny nos dijo algunas. The consonant teacher. Yes, the consonants, that's right. D, D or D. Okay. T, T as in tomato. What are the other consonants, guys? Do you remember them? 
Y. Ajá. Yes. Ajá. What other one? All right. A ver, se los voy a poner aquí. Yo no sé si le tomaron foto. Si no, tómenle foto. Hoy sí le puede tomar foto. All right. Ayer no. Ajá. No lo podían ver. Hola. PKF. That's right. Yes. PKF. Very good. Here, I'm going to put it so you guys can, oops, can take a picture of it. All right. It's PKF. G H S H C H double S C and X. All right. Those are the ones that you need to remember. When the pronunciation is d, all right? Acuérdese que no es d, es el fonema, es el sonido, d. Cold, all right? For example, cold, clean, offer. We have L, N, R, G, V, S, Z, or Z, B, and M, y todas las que suenen como que terminan en vocal. All right, que suenen como vocal, no que, este, no que sea la vocal. All right, so this is very important, guys, okay? Okay. Dejo de compartir, solo se los quería mostrar para que nos um, recordemos, ¿verdad? Okay, very good, guys. All right, I'm going to take attendance right now because um, we have already some students. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Thank you, Trinidad. Alejandro Antonio Ramírez Guzmán. Ale. All right. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Gustavo Alberto Montepeque Olivares. Okay. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Emanuel Franco Vázquez. He's coming in. Jorge, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge. José Daniel Argueta Núñez. All right. Uh, José David Rivera Aquino. Present. Thank you. José Santiago Escobar Abrego. Juan José Conrado. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio César Merino González. Present. Thank you. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Misael Rivera Aquino. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Edilson Corea Spice. Present. Thank you. Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Thank you. Jessica Beatriz Fuentes de Villanueva. And Oscar Enrique Ramirez Menendez. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's continue then. All right. Let's go to our books. Okay. And let's go to this page right here. Remember that yesterday we read this, this conversation. All right. And the, we, I believe we went over some. Yeah, we read this conversation yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. Did we read this conversation, guys? Hello? Yes, sure. Yeah, I remember we read this yes. conversation yesterday, okay? So I'm just gonna read it to you one more time so we just remember some of the pronunciation. Can you tell me about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me, okay? So remember the pronunciation here is kind, all right? Do you understand what kind is? Do you guys understand what kind is? It's like a tipo. 
Okay. It's like what? Ah, yes, but not in this context. That's another okay. meaning, hi, Maria. Okay. Okay, when you say, ah, oh, you're so kind, what are you uh, saying? Uh, amable. Yes, very good, like nice, okay? I can say, mm -hmm. Maria Melina is nice, or I can say, Maria Melina is kind, all right? Okay. Okay. Very good, all right. Uh, do you guys understand what apologies is? What does apology mean? Do you understand apology? In Spanish, it is como avergonzado. Um, disculpándose. Yeah, it's como me, me, me disculpo por eso, mis disculpas, all right? My apologies, very good. Uh, what about a product? Let me see. He was, a, yes, Johnny. What, what is the difference between uh, apologies and excuse me? Excuse, excuse me. Yeah, excuse me, like such is an expression, right? Apologies is like when you say, me disculpo. The other one is like, excuse me, could be like permiso or a, un ex, like, ex, not excuse, but like you're asking for permission, for example. When you're going to go through someone, you say, excuse me, I'm going through. Excuse me, I have a question. Disculpe is more like an expression. Apology is what you're doing. Yeah? Usted, si usted le hizo algo mal a alguien, usted dice, I apologize. Yes? No dice, I excuse. You say, I apologize. All right? That's like, uh, apologize is the verb. Apologies is the noun. All right, Johnny? So sorry. <laughs> yeah? All right, yeah. <laughs> Es que excuse me es como una expresión. All right. Cuando usted dice, te, mi, eh, él se disculpó. He apologized. All right. No dice, he excused. All right. Okay. So, mm. apolo uh -huh. apologies are like um, disculpas. Yeah, Johnny? A okay. I, I said or excuse me. Por disculpas. Sí, pero no está pidiendo perdón oh. ahí, o no está disculpándose. Oh. Right? Uh -huh. Ok. Por ejemplo, cuando you have a question, you say, me diría, teacher, excuse me. Disculpe, pero no de que me ha hecho algo malo, ¿verdad? Sino que disculpe, tengo una pregunta. Excuse me, I have a question. ¿Usted le hizo algo malo a Ofendió a alguien por decir algo, usted dice, I apologize, me disculpo. ¿Ya? Ah, ok, it is the difference. Yeah, that's the difference. Okay. Y de Teacher. apologies viene el verbo apologize, que es como me, yo me disculpo, dígame. Eh, apology es como una culpa que uno siente. Sí, y, cuando usted pide y, disculpas. Excuse me, es. Es una expresión. Expresión. Ajá, yes. Okay, yeah. Then, yo le puedo decir, yeah. me, um, se le cayeron sus llaves. Sí, me. exacto, ajá. Uh -huh. O usted me dice, eh, disculpe, puedo hablar con usted. Excuse me, can I talk to you? ¿Verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. that's more like an expression. Yes. Very Thank good. You. Thank you, Julio. Very nice. All right. Very good. Any other? Hi, Rosa. No, no había visto que ya había entrado y Vicky también. Very nice. Thank you, girls. Hi, Rosa. Hello, teacher. <laughs> hi, hi. All right, very good. Okay, any other questions about this um, conversation? No, no questions? Okay, let's work on this here. It says number three, read the conversation again and write the activities that happened and the ones that didn't. All right, so based on this conversation, Vamos a escribir lo que sí hizo el agente y lo que no hizo el agente. All right, porque en este caso, Luz, no, Eva, perdón, Eva hizo una llamada y el, la persona que la atendió hizo unas cosas y no hizo otras. All right, so look for it here on the conversation and then write it here. This has to be in simple past, okay? Yes, because it did. And these ones, it didn't. Okay, guys? 
Okay. Ya. All right. Okay. Vamos a dar unos dos, tres minutitos. Nos quedamos aquí y lo, lo resolvemos. All right, guys, let's see. What about did? What happened? What are the activities that the agent did do? And what are the activities the agent didn't do? All right, what about did? What do we have for that one? Teacher, the I... teacher, okay. Excuse me. Yes, go ahead. I don't know we did uh -huh. because <laughs> uh, uh, do other other uh, what is other agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first agent didn't do anything. All right. Yes. 
Yes, the second agent, he explained everything, all right? So there is, if we wanna write something on did, we can say second agent explained everything. First agent didn't do anything, okay? Yeah, what about didn't? What are the answers on didn't? The first agent. Uh, didn't didn't the confirmation number? All right. Okay. So he didn't give the confirmation number. Very good. Okay. Another activity. A ver, Rosa, do you have another activity that he didn't do? Or Carlos Eduardo or Oscar, anybody else? Another activity that they didn't do. He didn't even send a receipt. Yeah, he didn't even send a receipt for what she bought, right? Very good. Nice. Thank you, Oscar. Another, another activity. He didn't say his name, teacher. He didn't say his name. No, he didn't. Okay. All right. Only that, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Very good, guys. Thank you. Okay. So remember, for didn't, we say he didn't give a confirmation number, he didn't send the receipt, and he didn't say his name. All right? So everything didn't, didn't, didn't. In did, all right, we can say the second agent explained everything. All right? But the second agent, not the first one. El primero no dice one mucho. All right? Mm. Nada, nada, nada. Yes? But the... But the deal, the agent, he was so considered. Yes, the se but the second one, Carlos, not the first one, right? Yes, his name was Romeo. Uh huh. Yes, Romeo was good, but the first agent, no. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. So Romeo, yes, Romeo was nice. He was considerate, and he explained everything. Yes. Yes, it's just... Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's continue here then. It says, how to use past of be and simple past negative. We already saw this before. Past of be a negative. Remember that is wasn't and weren't. And the simple past, ya no usamos wasn't ni weren't. We use didn't. Y el verbo regresa a qué? A qué? ¿A qué regresa el verbo? The base form. Yes, it goes back to the base form, all right? So we say receive, you didn't send, all right? Didn't say, oops, all right? And didn't call, very good. And didn't buy. Ya no necesitamos los verbos en pasado porque tenemos el auxiliar didn't, okay? Very good. This is what I want you to do right now. Hold on, guys. I just want to see something. Okay. Let's do this right now. It says write the sentences using the, the negative in simple past. So let's work on this right now, guys. Number one says, I am satisfied with my laptop. Marta writes a letter to her boss. We are so happy with the food service. Pedro and me drive to the company. The principal sends many emails and the program is too slow. Everything right now is in simple present. Usted va a pasar a simple past. Voy a asignar números, all right? Igual tienen que hacerlas todas, pero vamos a asignar números ahí para que participemos la mayoría. A ver. Misael, usted se va a encargar number one. Tiene que hacerlas todas, pero la número uno la va a compartir con nosotros. David, number two. All right, uh, Juan Jose, number three. Vicky, number four. Alejandro, number five. Jonathan, number six. No me van a decir, teacher, se me olvidó mi número porque ya no me acuerdo. <laughs> All right. Okay, vamos a empezar en unos 
tres, cuatro minutitos. Todos haciendo todo el ejercicio, pero los que asigné van a compartir that sentence I gave, ¿ok? All right, guys, finished. Yes? All right, Misael, can you tell me number one, please? Misael? Hello, teacher. Yeah, hi, Misael. Eh, no la he terminado todavía, teacher. La número uno? No. All right, that's okay. Juan, that's fine, Misael. Don't worry about it. Misael, I mean, Juan Jose, can you do number one? Ah, no, se ya le había asignado una, ¿verdad, Juan Jose? A ver, entonces espéreme. A ver, a Oscar, Armando, number one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oscar, Armando, number one. Uh, I didn't satisfy, satisfy with my laptop. Seguro, Oscar. Es I didn't satisfy, porque no. están usando I am. Ah, pues no, no estoy seguro. Ajá, el am, solo páselo. No. Solo páselo a pasado. I was. Ok, ajá. Ah, I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Excellent. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Very good. Thank you. All right. What about number two? ¿Quién? No sé a quién le tocó. ¿Le asigné a alguien el número dos? Me teacher. Okay. 
Oh, okay, thank you, David. Permítame. Es que en sí no le, no, le, no le encontraba la estructura, todavía lo estaba revisando. Ok. Porque estaba haciendo la número uno, pensé que esa me tocaba. <risa> All right, no se preocupe, hagamos la dos. Bueno. Teacher. Hola. Puedo intentarlo. Eh, ok, All right, David, si gusta, lo va a hacer Julio. A ver, y si, si no le ayudamos a Julio, a usted y yo, David, a ver. Uh -huh. Ok, bien. Es un intento, teacher. Sí, está bien, Julio. Marta, eh, o oh, she didn't, she didn't rise a letter to her boss. Ok, all right. A ver, Julio, intentemos poner nada más el, ver, el verbo rights in simple past, Julio. ¿Cuál sería? Eh, ah, she was. No, el pasado del verbo right, Julio. Why? ¿Cuál es el pasado Why? del verbo right? Why did? No. Why did? What? Es no es teacher. Dígame. No es and o oh, y don. ¿Perdone? No sería I don't. Para la número dos, Marta. Sí, right. Ajá. Right is she. Ajá, Marta writes, but in simple past. Road. 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 Very good, man. Ajá. But we need, we need to use negative. Oh, you're right. Yes. Um. Ah, yes, you're right. I didn't see that negative part on it. All right. Okay. So Marta, there you're right. Marta uh, didn't write. Entonces nos queda didn't write. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I didn't see the negative. So in la primera, Oscar, nos tuvo que haber quedado wasn't, ¿verdad? I wasn't satisfied. My laptop because it's negative, ¿ok? Pero sabe que lo vamos a hacer afirmativo y negativo porque los afirmativos nos cuestan porque tenemos que saber el, el verbo en pasado igual. Así es que igual vamos a hacer ahora, le vamos a agregar otra cosa, ¿verdad? A ver, what about number three? Thank you. ¿A quién le tocaba number three? My teacher. Me. Okay. Eh, why didn't are so happy? We the full service. Ah, ok. All right. Mire, si aquí tenemos, vamos a ver, aquí tenemos el R, ¿cierto? ¿Cuál sería el pasado? Yes. Oh, where? didn't. No. El pasado where? Where? Where. where. Ajá. Y, y en negativo vamos a poner. Where? Where? Ajá. Very good. We weren't so happy with the food service. Thank you. Y si la dejamos en afirmativa, siempre en pasado, nos quedaría we were so happy with the food service. Yes? yes. yes. Number four. Yes. Could, uh, yes? Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, you know, you can know write, write, write the, the answer. Yes, I can write the answers, of course. All right, yes. I'm going to write it. Yes? I was confused because... Because you say use only simple past. Yeah, but I didn't, you know what, Johnny? It was my mistake because I didn't see it was negative. Oh. Yeah. All right. I thought I thought it was everything affirmative. All right. Affirmative in simple past. But now we're doing both. <laughs> all right. So we practice both type of sentences. Thank you. All right. So here we're using. All right, what about this one? It was Marta. Marta didn't. Didn't write a letter to her boss. Boss or, como yo la estoy pidiendo en, en afirmativo, pero en pasado, Marta. Row a letter, yes. Y lo demás, ¿verdad? Queda igual. Very good. Esa sería esta. La número tres. Hagamos la tres. Dijimos we. We what? We weren't. We weren't. Very good. 
We were in so, so happy. All right. Y luego la íbamos a hacer también en eh, afirmativo y quedara we were so happy. Y lo demás. Ok. Very good, guys. What about number four? Um, ¿A quién le tocaba en la número cuatro? De Pedro a mí. Mi teacher, pero yes. no estoy segura que sea así. No se preocupe. A ver, dígamela. <laughs> Pedro and me didn't grow to the company. Fíjese que casi, Vicky. Pedro and, and me was did grow to the company. No, lo tenía mejor anterior, Vicky. <laughs> Pedro <laughs> and me didn't grow to the company. A ver, didn't, si ya tenemos didn't, ya regresamos al presente. Didn't drive. Ah, tienen dry. Y le borré dry y le puse drop. Ah, y si la ponemos en afirmativa, si dijéramos Pedro and me drop to the company, ¿verdad? Porque nos quedaría en afirmativo, en pasado. A ver, la número 5, hagamos la 5 aquí. Thank you, Vicky. Very good. Who was supposed to do number 5, guys? Me, teacher. Ok, tell me. Eh... The principal didn't send many emails. Many. The, the many. Princip yes, very good. The principal didn't send many emails. Esa nos queda en negativo. Y si la pusiéramos en afirmativo, Alejandro, ¿cómo nos quedará? The principal, the principal sent Excellent. Many, didn't. many Many emails. Very good. Yes. All right. Very nice. Number six. Who was supposed? Thank you, Alejandro. Who was supposed to do number six, guys? Me, teacher. Okay. Tell me number six. I'll write it here below, guys, because no me no me cabe aquí. The program wasn't too slow. Okay. Y si nos quedaré en afirmativo. The program is to slow. The program was, ¿verdad? Sería siempre pasado. Pasado afirmativo. Okay. Yes, slow. very good. Yes, very good. Okay. All right, guys. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to erase it. No sé si ya lo revisaron. Como lo, lo habían hecho ustedes. All right, very good. Excellent, very good. Okay, guys, let's move on here. Here we have, uh, we're going to talk about this. All right, I will be able to. A ver, Oscar Enrique, si me regala la lectura de esto, Oscar, please. Hey, teacher. Ask customer questions to confirm that they got what was promising. Promise. Pro promise. 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 Uh -huh, very good. Ask customers questions to confirm what that they got what was promised. Very good. Okay, Jonathan, thank you. Oscar, can you read? Let's start number one. What question do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? Okay, very good. All right, guys, thank you. Okay. I want you to read this. Read Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres describe their experience with two different companies. This is the first reading and this is the second reading, all right? Now, I want you to... Los voy a mandar a sus grupos. Antes de ahorita, para que nos dé casi que las nueve, quiero que lo lean. All right. Please watch for the pronunciation of simple past tenses. All right. So I want you to read this and then read this one and answer these two questions. Okay. Yes. La idea es que practiquen la lectura. All right. Y contesten esas dos preguntas. Voy a dejar de Okay, guys, let's go to your groups, please. Okay, let's go now.
Ahí está, teacher. Hi, hi. Teacher. Hola. I can't share again. <laughs> Can you try now? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, Johnny, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rosa. Bye, Jorge. <laughs> You're welcome. Teacher. Hi, Misael. Me puede meter otra vez con la persona con la que estaba. Estaba es que con me... María Melina. Ajá, es que pasa es que estaba con el teléfono, pero se me apagó. Me ah, okay. tuve que instalar, en, me, me tuve que meter en otro teléfono. Vaya, Misael, ahorita lo mando, no se preocupe. Muchas gracias.
All right, Jonathan, did you finish reading and answer the questions? Yes? Yes, teacher. Very good, thank you. Vicky, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Very good, Vicky. Vicky, I cannot see you. What happened today? <laughs> All right, Maria Melina, did you finish your sentences, your questions? Hi, Vicky, ya la veo. <laughs> um, yes, I did, teacher. Okay, very good, thank you. All right, we're gonna wait for everybody else to come back. Okay. All right, very good, everybody's back with me now. Very good, guys. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna practice the reading. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna read it here. Oops, here. All right, Mrs. Mendoza. All right, let me see. Jonathan, can you read? Va leer, Jonathan, hasta donde está el primer punto, donde dice it. Okay? Jonathan, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I had a pro problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. Very good, thank you. Vicky, continue. Hasta donde dice broke. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He had charged me for a pie. He broke. A ver, a ver, Vicky, el primer verbo, se lo voy a subrayar en amarillo. Acá, regáleme la pronunciación de este. Solve it. Mm, ¿Segura? Eh. Solve it. I don't know. Solve it. All right. Termina con B. I mean, termina con E, pero la es muda. Sol. All right. So, en pasado, ¿cómo lo decimos? Solved. All right. He solved it. All right. But he didn't say anything. He even, a ver, ¿y este último? ¿Cómo lo pronunciamos? Charged. Charged. All right. Okay. A piece he broke. All right. Let's see. Maria Melina continue until it finished. He gave all the way to very late. I'm sorry. Where is it? He gave me a copy. Okay. He gave me a copy of the report but I didn't understand, understand it. Okay, continue. Besides, besides all that, besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Excellent, very good, thank you. All right, let's see. Mr. Torres, I want, um, Alejandro, can you read this part? Alejandro, I have to hear. I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called. La pronunciación me, de ese verbo, Alejandro. I, I called. Excellent. I called. For Very good. Mm -hmm. Assistance, the mechanic, the mechanic. No, mechanic, it's okay. The mechanic. The mechanic was really keen. Kind? Really kind. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Juan Jose, can you read all the way to? Okay, wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. okay, that, that, there, uh huh. He was there really fast and he was going to fix my course problem too. Excellent, very good. Johnny, can you continue uh, to hear, Johnny? He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. 
Very good. All right, Victoria, can you finish, please? Then I start started I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, very good. All right. So who had a very a better experience, Miss Mendoza or Mr. Torres? Who had a better experience? Mr. Torres. Mr. Torres, right, very good. All right, very good. So let's see here. Did Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with the method of payment? For question number one, did she have a problem with the method of payment? Yes, she did. Okay. All right, I had a problem with the payroll system. Yes, very good. All right, what about number two? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No. No, no, right? No, teacher. No, okay. So don't call, don't he didn't, call the best he didn't, friend. Uh-huh, he didn't call the best friend. He called whom? Who did he call? A mechanic. A mechanic, very good. Yes. He called a mechanic, very nice. Thank you, guys, very good. All right, let's see. I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to take the second attendance, all right? Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Alejandro Antonio Ramírez Guzmán. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present. Gustavo Alberto Montepeque Olivares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Emanuel Franco Vázquez. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Jose Daniel Argueta Núñez. Jose David Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Jose Santiago Escobar Abrego. Juan José Conrado. Present. Julio César Merino González. Present. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present teacher. Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Present teacher. Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Present. Thank you. Uh, Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Present. Jessica Beatriz Fuentes de Villanueva. And Oscar Enrique Ramirez Menendez. All right, very Present. good. Thank you, Oscar, very good. Okay, guys, let's see here. What else do we have here? Okay. Here we have yes, no questions. How to use simple past yes, no questions, okay? Remember that in English, we have two types of questions. We have yes, no questions, and we have information questions. In this case, we're talking about yes, no questions, and we are still talking in simple past, all right? The auxiliary that we use is did for questions. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Did she pay extra money? Did we receive a report? Did they sign the letter? All right, and the short answers in affirmative is yes, I did. In negative is no, I didn't. All right, the second answer is yes, she did or no, she didn't. Then we go on with yes, we did, no, we didn't. And the last one is yes, they did, no, they didn't, okay? Now, I'm going to stop this for a second, okay? And I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Let me see. Um, Maria Melina, did you buy, did you buy oranges today? No, I didn't. Oh, all right, very good. Alejandro, um, did you drive to work? Yes, 
Yes, I did. Oh, very nice. All right, Johnny, did you teach five classes today? Yes, I did. <laughs> very good. Julio, did you drink water? You me? Did you drink water? Yes, I did. Ah, very nice. Jorge Alfredo, did you swim today? Sorry, teacher. Did you swim today? Swim. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Like Chuchito style? <laughs> swim? <laughs> no, you didn't, or yes, you did? Yes, she did. Did you swim today? Nado ahora, Jorge? Ah, no. Nada ahora. Ah, no, all right. No, you didn't. All right, very good. Nice. Oscar, did you did you go to San Miguel today, Oscar Enrique? Did you, sure? did you go to San Miguel today, Oscar? No. No, right. I, uh huh. I didn't. Excellent. Very good. No, I didn't. Very nice. Oscar Edilson, um, did you buy a new cell phone last weekend? No, I didn't. All right. Very good. Okay. Oscar, did you, um, did you play tennis? Oscar Armando. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Very good. Jonathan, did you dance today at work? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. All right. Vicky, did you? I don't know, Vicky. Did you um did you play basketball today? No, I didn't. Ah, all right. Carlos Eduardo, did you receive many phone calls today at work? Repeat the, 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 the question. question. Did you receive many phone calls today at work? Many phone calls. Did you receive many phone calls? Uh, okay, okay. I didn't. Oh, you didn't. No. All right, very nice. Okay, no, you didn't. Very nice. Juan Jose, um, did you eat pizza today? No, I didn't. Ah, oh, all right. Jo oh, no, Jonathan, yeah. Rosa, um, did you, um, did you drink coffee? Yes, I did. Ah, very good. All right, Victoria. ¿Qué se hizo Vicky? ¿Dónde está Vicky? Se salió. Ah, no, ahí está. A ver, Victoria, did you, um, did you study English? In the morning? No, I didn't. Ah, all right, very good. Rosa, did you watch TV? No, I didn't. All right, very good. David, did you um did you chat with your friends today? Yes, I did. Very good. Misael, did you um did you take the bus today? No, I didn't. Ah, okay. And Trini, did you um did you cook? No, I didn't. Okay, very good. No, I didn't. All right, very nice. So remember that when I ask you these questions, the answer is yes, I did, or no, I didn't in the case if it's negative. Si usted escucha. Y eso ya lo vieron la vez pasada, el módulo pasado. Si usted escucha que dentro de la pregunta es el did, usted en automático tiene que pensar que es pasado. ¿Ok? Did you go? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. ¿Ok? Ahora, todavía ya lo vamos a ver igual cuando tenemos las WH questions. Where did you go? All right. Entonces ya la pregunta 
Eh, por eso se le llama information question, porque yo le estoy solicitando más information. Entonces, su respuesta ya no puede decir yes or no. You have to give me more information. ¿Ok? Yes. A ver, pensemos en tres, quiero ver, dos cosas que han hecho en la última semana y dos cosas que no han hecho. All right. Simple pass. Les doy un minuto por oración. Cuatro minutos. All right. Four sentences. Two sentences that you have done and two sentences that you haven't in simple pass, please. All right. Do it right now. Finished your sentences, yes? No, teacher, not yet. Okay, okay, let me know when you're done. Thank you. Okay. Teacher. Hi, Johnny. Uh, my apologies, but I didn't write write your name. Oh, my in name the is first Jessica. Class. <laughs> That's okay, Johnny. My name is Jessica. Jessica. Mm -hmm. Jessica Cerritos. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are you guys finished now with your sentences? Yes? All right. Oscar Edilson, can you tell me your four sentences? Two, for, two affirmative and two negative. Okay. The affirmative. I did attend many users. Okay. I okay, did mm -hmm. 
send many emails. Okay. The two negative ones? Negative, mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't buy a soda. Okay. I didn't go in the bus. Oh, very good. Okay. Now, uh, Oscar, in affirmative, you don't need the did. Okay. Ah, okay. So, for example, you okay. say, I attended. Ese es el pasado. I attended yes. many people, for example, right? Tell me your second sentence in affirmative, Oscar. I sent. Ajá. Many Very good. I sent many emails. Acordémonos que es igual que en el presente simple, ¿verdad? El auxiliar existe, que es el do o el does, pero en afirmativo solo ponemos el verbo, ¿verdad? No ponemos okay. el auxiliar. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Very okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Very nice. Let's see. What about um, Carlos, Eduardo? Tell me your sentences, please. Okay, I don't finish, but the when well, uh, I have to. Okay. Because I didn't play soccer. Okay. And I didn't dance with my wife. Okay. All right. In the bueno, una de las últimas que está haciendo. Sí, sí. I send the reports. Ah, oh, you sent the report, okay. The report, yes. Mm, all right, Only very nice. Said. Okay, that's fine, Carlos. That's it. perfect. Very nice. Thank yes. you. Maria Melina, tell me your sentences, please. Um, I did many calls yesterday. Mm, okay. And I did... Uh, I didn't cook dinner last night. That's, mm -hmm. it, yeah. That's it, teacher. Okay. All right. A ver, uh, you did many phone calls. All right. En ese caso, el did no está funcionando como auxiliar, sino que como verbo, ¿verdad? Yo no realice, o yo realicé muchas llamadas. Yo hice muchas llamadas. I did many phone calls. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Alejandro, your sentences, please. Um... I did the war activities. Okay. I played uh, with my son. Oh, very nice. Okay. Uh, I didn't exercise this week. Okay. I didn't do the reading of the week. Oh, okay. Very good, Alejandro. Thank you. All right. Let me see. Juan Jose. Solo dos hice, teacher. That's okay. Uh huh. Okay. I did enter in the English class early. Okay. Uh, number two, I did attend five dogs in my office. Oh, okay. A ver, Juan Jose, the first one is affirmative or negative? Uh, number two, affirmative. Okay. Las dos son afirmativas. Yes, teacher. Okay. Regáleme otra vez la número uno, Juan Jose. I did enter no, I did enter the English class early. Okay. All right. Entonces vamos a decir, es como que decir entré, ¿verdad? Yo entré a la clase de inglés temprano. Yes? Okay. Yes. Igual hay que remover el did. Solo es el verbo, Juan José. All right. Okay. Se lo voy a escribir igual aquí en el chat para todos y sería I entered the English class early. All right, enter. No necesitamos el did, ¿ok? Uh -huh. sí. Y la okay. segunda, Juan José. Eh, I did attend five dogs in my office. Ok, okay. entonces igual le quitamos el did y nos queda I attended eh, five dogs in your office. All right, ah, uy, se me, perdón, Atten, attended, ajá. Attended. There you go. Attended. All right. Very good, Juan Jose. Thank you. Okay. All right. Very nice. Oops. Uh, what about Vicky? Uh -huh, Vicky, tell me your sentences, Vicky. I didn't make exercise. Okay. I didn't. Um, I didn't 
go to the park. Okay. Um, I work, attend the client. Okay, all right, you attended the clients, uh huh. Yeah, I check in the mail. I checked the mail, uh huh. Yes. Very yes. good. Excellent, very good. Nice, thank you. Let's see, what about uh, Johnny, your sentences? And then Julio. Okay. I taught math the last week. Ah, okay. I ate hamburgers today. A delicious Johnny. <laughs> yes. All right, very nice. Okay. I didn't go to the school this week. Very good. Uh huh. And I didn't drive the car today. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. Very good sentences, Johnny. Very nice. Okay, Julio, tell me your sentences. Uh huh, Julio. Julio, do you I, have your sentences? Uh-huh. Sorry. I go to I go to the trip. Okay. All right. Julio, ¿cuál es el pasado de go? I go. I don't know. Ok, no se preocupe. A ver, el pasado de Go, ¿quién me lo regala? Went. went. Eh, went. Ah, muy bien, Julio. Thank you, guys. I went. Ok, I went. Uh -huh. I went uh, three bags. Uh -huh. Ok. It, it now. All right. Now. Yeah, very good. Ok, Julio, ¿tiene, algo otra, ¿tiene alguna otra oración? Mm. And I, I went, I went to go. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry. That's okay, Julio, that's okay, no se preocupe. Okay. A ver, ¿qué otra actividad ha hecho en esta última semana, Julio, para, para ayudarle ahí? Um, Play, play football. Okay. Played. Played. Ah, okay, you played. All right, very good. So you played a game, right? Or football or soccer or whatever. All right, very good. Thank you, Julia. Very nice. Okay, one more. A ver, voluntario, voluntaria to tell me one more. Like their sentences. Maybe Oscar, Armando. Ramirez. Okay, very good. Uh-huh. Y después va Oscar Armando. <laughs> Sorry, Oscar. I drive, I do drive for my work every day. Every okay. day. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I didn't eat a pizza in the my first day. Oh, ok, very good. Ok, a ver, Oscar, recuerde que en, el, en las oraciones afirmativas no vamos a poner el did, vamos a usar directamente el verbo, ¿verdad? Creo que era drive, puso, ¿verdad? Uh, drive. Ajá, el pasado de drive es. ¿Cuál es el pasado de drive? ¿Alguien que me lo regale? No. Drop, very good, drop. Entonces dice usted, decimos entonces, I drop, ¿verdad? Yo manejé. Ahora right, no necesitamos el did. Y en la negativa, que usted no comió pizza en su cumpleaños, decimos, I didn't eat. All right, llevamos el didn't y el verbo eat va en presente. ¿Ya? Yeah? All right, very good. A ver, Oscar Armando, tell me your sentences. No se va a salvar, Oscar. Estoy malito. Vaya. Ajá. Las primeras no se sé, están bien. Uh, I, I play tennis. Sí, solo que la pronunciación regálemelo, Oscar. Uh, I play it. Ah, ok, very good. Ok, pero sí, le sale muy bien. I played, ajá. Ajá. Uh, 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 I eat pupusas. 
I uh -huh. ate pupusas. Very good. Uh -huh. uh, y la otra es, I didn't play soccer. Oh, very good. Y I didn't swim. I didn't mm -hmm. swim. Swim. Excellent. Swim. You didn't swim. Very good, guys. Thank you. All right. Okay. Ya ve, ya ve. Very good. Pero ya está tomando medicina, Oscar. Yeah? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Okay, guys. Vamos a ver. Ah, uh, solo déjeme ver algo aquí, please. Give me one second, guys, please. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's go and work. Vamos a trabajar en dos cosas ahorita. Deme un segundo, quiero ver algo aquí. Yeah. Vamos a trabajar ahorita on your page. What did I do? Wait, guys. On the page number, page number 34 of your book. Okay. Se lo voy a enseñar para que sepan cuál es. Page 34, I need you to do this, okay? Ustedes tienen que crear la respuesta. No está creada aquí. No hay, no hay pregunta. Perdón, no hay pregunta. Hay respuesta. Basada en la respuesta, you make the question. Y así para las cinco que están acá. All right? That's what you have to do here. Create yes, no questions based on the answer provided. All right? So you have to do this questions based on the um based on the answers e necesito que le tomen foto a esto a ver give me a second again Deme un segundo. Ya, yeah. vamos a tomar foto a esto aquí. Ok. All right. I want you to take a picture of this right now. Ok, this. What's on the screen? Si quieren lo manda alguien que lo mande al grupo. La idea es esto que está acá lo tienen que hacer con el verbo que está en brackets. You have to do it in um, simple past. All right. Si dice not like is negative. All right. And the rest of them are affirmative, but in simple past. Okay, guys, did you finish? Did you take a picture? Entonces, quiere decir, thank you. Quiere decir que vamos a trabajar en esto y en el ejercicio del libro. All right? So, let's go right now. I'm going to open up your groups so you can go work. Gustavo, ¿puede unirse al grupo o no, Gustavo? Yes, teacher. Oh, thank you. All right, perfect. Thank you. Hi, Alejandro.
Vicky yes. and Jonathan, did you finish? No, teacher. Hemos terminado, pero lo del libro. <laughs> okay, no se preocupe. All right, that's fine. Me encontró, Vicky. Bye, es compra. Ajá. Pero a qué se refieren con new tire? No, no lo buscó también. ¿Cómo no? Un nuevo neumático. Ah, que okay, sí, el new tire. Sí. Para el carrito. La número cuatro con el que Ah, did we never re receive a copy of the re re receipt? Vaya, creo que el never no sería necesario. Y el receive, creo que tendría que pasarlo a, a simple pass, a, a forma simple. Sí, no lleva ED. No se la agregó. No. Gamba. Entonces, yo le había dejado, did we receive a copy of the receipt? Uh -huh. O sea que quitamos el never. Uh -huh. El never viene siendo como que un agregado en la respuesta, por así decirlo. Ah, bye. Entonces quizás co empezamos con las otras. Sí. Hoy ya terminó. ¿Mm? Hola, Vicky. No, que vamos a empezar con las otras. Sí, sí, está bien, Vicky, no se preocupe, está bien. Learned. Learned. We learned French learned. and German at school. We learned in past, simple past. We, we, uh -huh. we learned, we learned. learned French and German at school. German. Mm -hmm. Number five. No. Speak, speak. In past, speaks in past. Spook. Spook. Mary, Mary spook. Spook. Hi, David. Hi, Juan Jose. Are you finished? No. no, teacher, todavía no. Ok, no se preocupe, estamos bien. Ok. okay. okay. My number four. No, we did. No, we, did. we did. We never sent a copy, did you say? Uh -huh. okay, entonces esta, uh -huh. we never receive. Entonces aquí sería nunca, pero yo. siempre copa, uh, siempre sería did de copiar día.
Hi, Jorge. Hi, teacher. ¿Te salió? Se me apagó el equipo, entonces entré con otro ahorita. Ah, vaya, ok. Eh, Recuérdeme en qué sala estaba, Jorge. Con Johnny y... Y Rosa. Rosa Lizette, quizás. Sí, ahorita sí, sí. sí. Ok.
Hi, Carlos, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Everything. Yes. Oh, very the, nice. Thank you. The Oscar is. All I right. take the Oscar is. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right, guys, let's see. We're going to share this. I'm going to share this with you so we can actually work on this one. All right. The question is, I mean, the answer is yes, I did. I sent the email. Carlos, what is the question? Did I send? Did I or did you? Perdón, did you? Mm -hmm. Did you send the email? Did you send the email, right? Yes. Very good. So the answer is yes, I did. I sent the email. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Victoria, what about number two? No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Did they check the... ¿Cómo dijo paquete? <laughs> did they check the package? Package. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Did they, did they check the package? Very good, the package, very good. Did they, check, did they check the package? No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Very nice, thank you. All right, what about number three? Let me see here. Um, Alejandro, do you wanna do number three? Yes, it did. The car turned on again. Did the car turn again, on again? Okay, very good. What about number four? No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Who wants to do number four? Someone to do did, number four? Yes, thank you, Johnny. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? Ooh, sorry, Johnny. Uh, did we... Receive, receive. Uh -huh. a copy yes. of the receipt. Thank you. All right. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Very nice. Thank you. And the last one, it says, yes, he did. Hola. Me? Okay, yes. Yes, Maria Melina, do it, please. Uh, did he? Mm -hmm. Bought a new tire. Did he? Both. Are you sure, Maria Melina? Buy. Excellent. Did he buy a, a new, new tire. tire? Una nueva llanta, ¿verdad? No. Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Very nice. Thank you, guys. All right. El otro ejercicio que terminamos lo vamos a, a entrar a revisar mañana en la clase nomás entremos. Alright, nos va a servir de repaso. Very good, guys. I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to take the last attendance. Alright, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Alejandro Antonio Ramírez Guzmán. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present, teacher. Gustavo Alberto Montepeque Olivares. All right, Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Emmanuel Franco Vasquez. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Jose David Rivera. Jose Daniel Argueta Núñez. Jose David Rivera Aquino. Present. Jose Santiago Escobar Abrego. Juan José Conrado. Present. Julio César Merino González. Present. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present. Teacher. Oscar Edilson Corea. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Rosa Lisette Paz Hernández. Present. Teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present. Teacher. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Thank you. Jessica Beatriz Fuentes de Villanueva. And Oscar Enrique Ramírez Menéndez. 
All right, guys, very good. Present. Thank you, Oscar. All right, so today, Maria Melina, just a little bit, please. And then tomorrow yes, is Misael, and on Friday is Oscar Armando. All right, you stay with me tomorrow for a little bit. Okay, guys, have a good night. Por favor, continúen con sus tareas de la plataforma. Bye now. Good night. Thank you. Good, good night. night. Bye. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maria Melina, how are you today? Um, I have good day today. Thank okay. you. Right. Yes. Did you did you work today? Yes, I did. Okay. Do you have days yes. off, Maria Melina? Um. Yes, teacher. Uh, every Saturday, oh. I take my day off. Yes. Okay. All right. So you work from month from Sunday to. Friday. Friday. Yes. Okay. Yes. And what yes. is your schedule like? What time do you start? Yes. Um, my schedule is um eight thirty o'clock. Okay. Until six p.m. Wow, it's a long day, Maria Melina. Long day, teacher. But um, you know what? Um, I take my lunch time. Mm -hmm. Um, I take an hour and I have my house very close. Oh, okay. Yes. So you walk? Yes, I oh. walk and take my lunch in my house. With your family? Yes. Okay. With, with my son and my mother. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very um, nice. And I like this. Yes, of course. Yes. 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 That's important. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's the reason uh, for what I'm, I am working there. Um, maybe two or three years ago, my son was studying. Uh -huh. um, and every time when I went to the school in the morning i went with them and i take them in the lunch time and walk to my home and right. we took lunch together and that's the reason i that's like right. that yeah yes. that's that's right very good yes. okay. how many sons do you have only one I have two boys. Mm. Yeah. Uh, her, uh, their names are Daniel. He is uh, 22 years old. Okay. And Milton, and he is 19 years old now. They okay. both are studying in the university. Okay. Now. All right. Yeah. That's very nice, Maria Melina. Very Thank good. You. And what are they studying? Um, Daniel is studying in, ¿cómo se dice? Ingeniería, teacher? Ah, uh, engineering. Engineering. He's studying, he studying engineering in logística y aduanas. Oh, wow, nice. Yes, and okay. Milton, he start, start, uh, started mm -hmm. this year in the Universidad Nacional. Okay. National University. University, yes, okay. Yeah, he started with medicine. Oh, wow. Yes. I, I, I say to, to, to him is um, complicated. Mm -hmm. And I, I talk to him every problem and the difficult. Mm -hmm. 
for the this career, but yeah. he he still I still insist he he want to to study that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But he's taking his classes online. Yes. Uh, he's going to the university only for um, to practice when they um, have a um, schedule for that. Okay. But but I think it's one one time for a month. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That's not too bad then. Yes. Okay. And what about uh, Daniel? Does he take his classes online or he comes? Yes, to... just online now. Yeah, maybe the other year if the situation is better, yeah, it's better. Yeah, but now they are both here in home. Right. Yes, of course. Yeah, I teach a university at UCA and at Evangelica, and we teach all the classes online. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm not. Yeah. I don't go out, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everything is online right now. Yes. It is cool, but um, I think it's better in the the in the school or in the university. Um, you can ask a, any question. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but, it's different. Um, yeah, but now. Yeah, the situation have, doesn't have, allow it to. Yes. And yeah. now the situation is very bad. It is very, very complicated, yes. Yeah. I told to you the last time. Yes. Uh, about my, my nephew. Yes, uh-huh. And uh, what happened? Um they get better and one of them have uh he's continue with the treatment. Okay. But but um is uh, better now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's good to know. That's good news. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Very good. I guess your sister feels better too, right? Yeah. It, um, yes. A little bit, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She's a little sick too. Oh, really? Yeah, she's a little sick, and that's the problem because um um she she have to to stay fine yeah. or take care of the baby, but that's right. he gets sick now. Mm -hmm. Um, yesterday she start to 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 feel sick to, to get sick. Yes, but. Mm -hmm. I think maybe tomorrow she get better. He's taking medicine a lot. Yes. Yeah, that's important. How about you, teacher? I'm fine. I'm I'm a little tired, but I'm fine. Yes. Um. How your kids are? They're fine. They're like taking their online classes every day. <laughs> uh -huh. But they're you okay. Have you have two or three kids, teacher? Three. Three. Uh -huh. I have three kids. They are girls or boys? No, um, I have one boy and two girls. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How old are they? Uh, my oldest son, he's 17. Okay. And then my second daughter, she is nine. Okay. And the little one, she's seven and a half. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, she's a little. Uh, yes, but um, now they get um, uh, big or tall very fast. <laughs> I know they do. They do, Maria yeah. Melina. I was. Yeah. We were talking uh, with my husband about that because we remember when Alejandro began kindergarten <laughs> and yes. it was yesterday yeah. you know, and now this exactly. year he graduates from high school so it's like oh my goodness <laughs> yeah that time is going very fast yeah it is it's flying yeah. it's flying yes 
Yes. So, but you know what? I mean, I I don't. I'm sorry that the whole situation of COVID has yeah. made us be at home, but I really like to work from home because I'm with the kids and I don't have to go in traffic and I don't have to, you know, do many things. I'm here and they are like next door, you know, and yes, we have more time. Yes, we and do. we can take care of them and that's right and help them some more. Yes, yes, of course, yeah. And share I the time. Right, yes. yes. I think, I mean, because everything I do is teach, right? So it's like everything yeah. I teach is online right now. So I I actually enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, yeah. it's because of COVID, but you know what? I'm, yeah, that's yeah. the bad part. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, my my first boy, Daniel, um, when he starts to study, uh, he has to go to La Union. Oh, wow. Yes, to Megatech. Okay. All right. And I was very worried every day. I was at call, calling mm -hmm. him every night and of now I, I i i am more um, relaxed that's so right with them yeah. feeling home yes of course yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's good yes for for sure yeah all right maria melina thank you so much again for staying with me it's a pleasure always to talk to you it's a pleasure for me to teach you. Thank you. Thank you. I like your look. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, right. teacher. So you rest, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice day at work tomorrow, Maria Melina. Okay. Thank you, teacher. I have a question. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have a question for the quiz number 14, teacher. Uh-huh. Um, I tried to do last night mm -hmm. and I have a problem with two let's see I, I get the picture um in this quiz the instruction mm -hmm. are are uh, I'm scramble the following question. The following question. Okay. Make sure to use all the words given. Okay. In the um, in the number three. Yeah. We have we have the words where, born, you, and when. Okay. And I did the sentence. When do when do you were born? No. When were you born? Ah, when okay. were you born? When were you born? Yes. Okay. I have one more words there. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. And the uh, number four, we have the word. How were you all? And I make my sentence, how do you were old? No, how old were you? Uh, how, how old, old were, were you? you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, very good. Yay, yeah, yeah, very okay. nice, Maria. Yeah. <laughs> All okay. right. Very good. I'm going to fix them. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Maria Thank Melina. Thank you for everything. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye, you okay. too. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye now.